I'm here at Connected Britain 2019 with Richard Watts, Business Development Director at VX Fiber. Richard, what do you think would be the key opportunities for the UK resulting from the rollout of high capacity digital infrastructure? Well, I think first of all, let's clarify high capacity because uh, you know in a show, a show like this, there's lots of different interpretations of that. To us, at VX Fiber, that means it's full fiber. That means fiber to the premises, and it's symmetric. So uh, you've got two-way, uh, a gigabit level, uh, or at least gigabit level. Okay, it's, but so there's a lot of other. Um, uh, operators that would look at uh, ultra fast, which may be 300 megabits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, when we talk about high capacity, we talk about uh, gigabit symmetric. So that's the first thing. Uh, opportunities. Well, of course, what that what that infrastructure does for you, it means that you are future proofed, right? Okay. The equipment can deliver any service down there, um, whether it's. Um, you know, public sector services, it could be GP consultations. Um, we're a society that's streaming more, okay, so it enables obviously the entertainment side of things. So I think the opportunities for the UK are really, um, yeah, we're a service we're a service country, we're not a manufacturing country, and as a service country, uh, we, need to, we need to use the internet as our medium to deliver those services. So uh, if we're going to be standing out there in the world um, uh, and being economically strong, we've got to have the infrastructure to do it. And is full fibre a realistic goal for the UK? Well, it's quite timely that you talk about goals because obviously the government, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure review looks at a goal of 15 million um, connections or, or homes passed, if you like, by uh, 225, and then the whole country rolled out by 233. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Boris Johnson this week said that 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 should all be done by 225. Well. Um, I don't think that's absolutely realistic. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of things need to, uh, a lot of initiatives need to happen to sort of help, you know, local authorities need to be involved. Uh, government need to sort of, you know, unlock, the, oil the wheels so that can happen. Uh, so regulation needs to support it. It's not just a matter for the private sector. And what's your predictions for the next 12 months? So, um, if, if you look at the stats as to where we sit in Europe and the rest of the world, it's, not, it's quite disappointing. You know, we are 34th, 35th in, um, you know, in Europe. Uh, you know, we, we sit with only 7% fibre to the premises, whereas uh, you know, the European countries with 90%. Um, so, that's a, that's a lot to do. Um, but having said that, I think that uh, what's happened in my experience the last couple of years is that suddenly, we're waking up to go actually super fast at 30 megabits, i.e. a copper hybrid solution is not enough for our digital future. We need full fiber. Uh, government's got behind it, lots of initiatives. So, uh, no, and, and I think the, the other thing that's important is the money's come in. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it is uh, economically viable to invest in infrastructure if you believe the take-up is going to be uh, strong in the future. So, um, to answer your question, I think that we'll see the UK as the fastest growing market in this area, but don't forget we come from a very low base, so it'll take time. VX Fibre's open access model is different to the typical ISP model, the Swedish business model. Can you tell us how it will work in the UK? Well, we see the ecosystem in three different layers. There's the, um, there's the fiber in the ground, what we call the passive layer. There's the equipment that lights it up and turns it into a sort of broadband internet service. And then there's the retail activity with the subscriber, be it business or be it consumer. Now, we sit, our core activity is we sit in the middle. We're the fiber operator. So we invest in all the equipment that lights that up but delivers it in an interesting way. So we deliver it in a, in a single marketplace so that the cons consumer can choose from whichever service provider is on that marketplace. And they, therefore they've got the, the freedom of choice, they can choose between products and they can choose between service providers. So we are actually a collaborator at the front end with the, uh, you know, with the consumers and the ISPs and then we can also collaborate at the fibre ownership. We don't need to own the fibre in the ground but we can and we will because we recognise in, uh, in the UK that we'll need to invest in the fibre layer. So we, uh, we have big aspirations to invest in, um, in the UK. Uh, we're investing in a number of countries in Europe as well as the rest of the world but we will be investing quite heavily in the UK. So we will invest in the fibre layer but we also facilitate others to be part of that ecosystem. It's going well. 
it's going very well. We're going to be very busy. Uh, we've been very busy over the last year, um, but I see uh, I see a lot of activity and a lot of growth for for us uh, in working with local authorities, uh, with ISPs as our customers, and um, you know partnering with many of the other providers here with uh, with fibre. And why is an event like Connected Britain important for VX Fibre to be involved with? It's a good question. Uh, I've seen um, I've seen this event start with just just people from the sort of telecoms industry, but now actually other people are coming in. Now I have conversations with county councils and borough councils and cities, uh, you know, so people actually who were involved in digital connectivity across the whole spectrum, if you like, are now involved in this, in this uh, industry and they come to this event. So we held a round table yesterday for local authorities to look at how they can support initiatives, whether it be a direct investment by themselves, bringing to uh, life assets that they have got that could be fibre deployment, but certainly how did they get involved. And that round table, I think, broke all records. It had 33 attendees, most of which are from local authorities. Um, so this is a, a good platform for us to sort of bring those people together, talk to our uh, talk to our partners being service providers, talk to other fibre owners who could collaborate with us and talk to local authorities. So um, it's a great event for us, we're, we're glad to be here. Thank you for talking to us Richard. Pleasure, nice to see you. Take care.